Yo, what up, YouTube? It's your boy, another Zod, back at you, y'all savage. Before I even get into what I want to talk about, man, shouts out to String Cartel, man. Like, I, let me just get off the back. I have no affiliation with these guys outside of the fact that they're straight cool. And, you know, I pulled up yesterday with my son. They didn't expect me to come, but we had already talked about, you know, meeting up. But, yeah, shouts out to String Cartel. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, like I said, I have no affiliation to this brand. But if you're into, uh, yeah, I'm going to do that. If you're into, uh pre-workout man go ahead and check this out like it scared me it's so strong but yeah shouts out to strength cartel and big boy hopefully we got something coming in the future uh but oh and to sucker free you know what i'm saying he put a, a song out there i'm gonna go ahead and drop the link but i ain't gonna say the name outside of his name is sucker free because uh it you know it's it's cussing whatever and you know youtube been on me lately uh they've been on everybody you know about strikes on the channel but yeah, let me just get into it. So this food, uh, uh, his name sounds like Juicy, but it's it's Jesse something Sm Smollett or whatever, and the people covering him and people have been on him the fact that he made that uh, the false claim that he got jumped by somebody with a MAGA hat. We all know what that is. He did it for the simple fact that right now they, like I said, they want to dethrone uh, the president. You know what I mean? And and any any negativity that can put towards, uh, you know, that particular brand or, you know, the people that wear those hats, they're going to do it. This guy, I think he was just searching for attention and he got it. And now he's in jail. Uh, and I, I don't know if he bailed out already, but they arrested him because, I mean, he, they were poking holes in his story since day one. See, if you're going to come up with these type of allegations, you got to realize that they're going to do whatever they're going to do. That kind of like uh, reminds me of one of my cases. Well, my last case, uh, to be exact, they had uh, basically, uh, you know, allegedly I had a, a chick that was like a manufacturer witness. You know what I mean? I, I, uh, they said I had her come in the court to basically say that I was in another place than where I was. And it was like a whole thing. But anyways, they end up uh, poking holes in her story. Her mom came to court and ended up, uh, not came to court, but ended up telling the cops that the chick, in fact, knew me. So it's like everything got thrown out the only thing they couldn't say is that i told her to say anything you know outside of the fact that oh you want to help me that's it so uh yeah with that being said like that I, I knew they were gonna find this guy out i just chose not to speak on him because at the end of the day it's just like he, i mean he don't really matter like he's you know whatever you know people are saying whatever community he serves you know that's him like i, I didn't really care about uh what he did i mean he got beat up. He said he got beat up. He supposedly set it up to get himself beat up. And people are just on him. You know what I mean? And and I can understand why. Because uh, eventually, you know what I mean? It's going to come towards, uh, you know, the primaries. And people are going to really be vying for the top office. So, you know, like stuff like this only sets it back even further by him making up lies. But he's not even the one I want to talk about. I just want to make the comparison, like, that everybody's on this dude in particular, but yet you got R. Kelly, like who who's sleeping on the fact that R. Kelly just got picked up for 10 counts. Bail said at a million dollars for all the people that came on my channel was just like, look at people tend to like, you know, uh, want to only be they, they got selective amnesia. I'll say, you know, what I mean, the, the stuff that they know is there, they tend to forget about. But. They always want to make it uh, something about race or something like uh, Zod is always attacking these people and attacking these people. When all actuality is like this. If you tell me about a dude from whatever neighborhood uh, that's supposedly a homie that I've never met. And uh, excuse my but fuck Egypt. You know what I'm saying? And then you got R. Kelly. Who am I going to talk about? I'm not going to talk about this dude that nobody knows about. He's not he's not a story. He's just a dude that did something and whatever. I don't know him. You got R. Kelly. Look, and at the end of the day, I spoke up on R. Kelly, just the simple fact that he is a Chester, allegedly. You know what I mean? I just say allegedly, even though everybody already knows what he is. It's just people don't want to come to terms with the fact that no matter how high his status is, he still likes to mess with children. And you know what I mean? And, and, and he's probably one of the sickest perverts outside of just, you know, the ones that tend to do way out stuff. But yeah. So that's why I spoke up on, 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 on R. Kelly and the fact that, you know, he continues to be in, in, in the media doing wild stuff. I said that he had a second tape. At, right when I put that out, come to find out he had a third tape. So it's not like people are attacking him because of his race or, you know, they want to knock the king off the throne. It's just simple fact. The dude is a Chester and people are tired of his mess. The people that were protecting him in the past no longer choose to protect him because though he still makes a certain amount of numbers, he's no longer viable. 
You got all these people pulling his tours and all this other stuff. They no longer want it. You got people pulling his music off the shelf. If they didn't do that, he probably would get away with it again. And who's to say? He might get away with it again because he still has a lot of money. But at the end of the day, for the people that come on the channel and continue, continue to see the fitness guy and try to make it more about a racial thing, uh, yeah, you're just delusional and, and, and you need to come to terms with the fact that dude is a is a chester and that's not dry snitch and that's not trying to out him. It's just all his business in social media. That's like if I had something uh shady on me, you think people ain't going to try to out me. They're going to try to do whatever they do. But that would be excused because, oh, it's against Zod. So whatever. But against this child molester that people want to continue to support. You know what I mean? It's it's okay because uh, he's not Zod. He doesn't run with those guys. You know what I mean? And that's that's what it's funny when it comes down to it. Like I pick these topics because it's views. That's it. I don't care about R. Kelly. I don't care about none of these dudes when they do shady things. At the end of the day, only only reason I I hate actually hate on R. Kelly is the simple fact that he's a Chester. A snitch, I would hate on him just as much. I chose not to continue to cover 6 9 because he already made his bed. He's laying in it. And it can't nobody do absolutely nothing to him. But you got this guy that just got busted. they rather uh, focus on this gay guy that, you know, uh, got his own self beat up than to focus on this guy that got 10 counts of all this lewd acts with, you know what I mean? And, and continuously being outed. And, and, and absolutely, if you look at his face, he had absolutely no emotion because he, in his head, he think, I'm going to beat it anyway and I'm going to be back on the street and I'm going to continue making tapes and do what I do because I got money and people love R. Kelly. I'm seeing his CDs and, and family's cars and like, man, what is that? But like I said, there's no accountability in, in certain communities. It's just the way it is. People can say what they want. Like, I always make it about race. It's, it's never been about race. When I told cats about being incarcerated and, and getting into with certain cats, you know what I mean? That it wasn't about race. It's just about gangbanging to me. You know what I mean? And people t took that and still ran with it. No, it's about race. Like, uh, Zod doesn't like his people. It, 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 at the end of the day, I just... Why why glorify people that I don't run with? I don't run with you. That's just it it's just the way it is. If I if I got on here and I was pro black, but yet I'm for Mexican, that would make absolutely no sense. That's like some of the black actors that say they're super pro black, but their wife is white. That makes absolutely no sense. That's a that's a direct contradiction of what you represent. Now, people will say what they want about me. You know, one minute, uh, you know, I, I'm not I'm, I'm, I'm not representing blacks. And then it, when I do say that I'm black, everybody has something against that. Like, don't claim black. Like, like as, as if your uh, voice matters. You're just another shadow in the dark that's spitting venom from, like, wherever the hell you are. Half of you have no profiles. And that's not to address the trolls and the haters. Because at the end of the day, it's like uh, when I had a conversation with uh, Big Boy from String Cartel. We, we talked about haters, haters look at, and, and, and he made it, and he made it so clear, like at the end of the day, when, when you're dealing with haters, somebody that supports your channel that really messes with you, uh, they're going to continue to support, they're going to watch your video, and then they go on about their way and wait for you to come with the next one, a hater will try to, they're, they're going to watch your video multiple times to try to pick apart every little thing you say, so, oh yeah, I don't like that, I don't like, like broads, you know what I mean, like, like, like a broad, you know what I mean, you want to, everything that I do, you want to point out, which, I mean, at the end of the day it doesn't matter like as you can see i'm still making moves and i'm still meeting different people my homies will always have uh you know it, it, as far as like putting them out there i'm always gonna put them out there you know what i mean in 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 a light to where i paint it i paint it the way i want to paint it so i'm always gonna give my homies that uh that respect because that's who i run with and if i didn't give them that respect i would be false it would be false for me to get on here and talk positive about everything about bloods and chris but i never ran with them you know what i mean it it, it, it that's like uh yeah that would be that would be false you know what i mean that would be me doing stuff in order to appease certain people uh and and, and for what at the end of the day, I ran into solid cats from everywhere. You know what I mean? It didn't matter, black, white, whatever. I ran into solid cats, and you know, and I give them their respect. But I'm not gonna get on here and glorify anything that I I don't affiliate with, as far as like when it comes to certain things. So when Zod does certain things and says certain things about his homies, that's because that's who Zod runs with. You know what I mean? And for the people that understand that, uh, obviously you're still you're still stuck in the past. Like that's the thing. Uh, now it's like to get past like you know certain things that happened in the past. If I didn't physically harm you, then there's you shouldn't have no issue with me. Uh, 
you had a guy on here that said something along the lines, and I know this has nothing to do with R. Kelly, but I said what I needed to say about R. Kelly. He's a Chester, and at the end of the day, uh, he either going to get stuck for it or, you know, or he's going to get off and people will continue to cover him. So that's all I'm going to say about R. Kelly and this other dude that people will continue to venom, uh, uh, villainize, even though R. Kelly stuff is a lot uh, stronger. But it's just simple fact that, you know, we pick and choose these battles. Uh, but when it comes down to it, I'm going to say it like this. I'm always going to be who I'm going to be, you know what I mean? And I'm going to I'm going to uh, go I'm going to be in certain circles and that's just the way it is. Uh when a guy says something about uh me representing the the Mexican flag and this and that, you know what I mean? And he wasn't he wasn't Mexican, so I just didn't understand why he would really trip off of it. And then I was like, "Okay, I can kind of see like certain cats, you know, you feel some type of way about it. Uh I don't have the African flag, which I'm not from Africa. I'm from here you know what i mean so it's like you know and and maybe uh when it comes to like you know uh as far as like your dna like you have ties a certain like my son uh, when he did his dna he had ties you know because of me to congo and 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 they we even found royalty in our leniency you know what i mean when it comes to like african or and, and egyptians like that's what he found you know what i mean so you know and my son is one of those that he's proud of his race like he's pro-black he's always been that way and I've never tried to change that fact. You know what I mean? It's like he likes who he likes and that's just it is. It's like why would I speak bad on anything? He knows that his dad runs with Mexican dudes. So it's like and at the end of the day, my son is Mexican and black. Uh, but his mom is Mexican and, and most women that I've been with are Mexican. So it's like, you know, what What can I really say? But as far as like uh, sporting Mexican flags, I would do that as long as I want. You know what I mean? I sport American flags. People don't like that. Why you salute the flag? Because I'm part of this country. You know, it's always, somebody's always going to have something to say, but it's a lot worse when it comes to Zod because Zod didn't, you know, and Zod, but Zod was solid and people need to get that fact. You know what I mean? And still solid and can say absolutely nothing about me. And that's what you should respect. The fact that I, I, I went to the other side and I repped it to the fullest and I'm still good in the hood. You know what I mean uh but i was looking at a rapper that my son was showing me because we're going to be doing these live reactions you know i'm be looking for ball savvy and uh and, and your boy's lot that's obvious but anyways uh and yeah so when we did these things you know what i mean he showed me the 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 dude that i've been listening to and it's a black dude you know he rapping he's spitting you know what i mean it's that new stuff but he got a, a mexican flag tied around his neck so but nobody says you go through the comments nobody says absolutely nothing about him why because oh it's cool but when zod does it, it's not cool because zod is zod you know what i mean and zod is yeah the op or whatever you want to consider me even though i ain't out there doing nothing but you consider me the op and that's uh, understandable but at the end of the day i'm just going to end it on this or Kelly's trash. Uh, this other dude, Smollett or whatever. I know he's a popular topic right now, but I mean, he got himself beat up. So that what's that say about you know? It's just uh, whatever. And he's paying for the he's paying for what he did. Hopefully, R. Kelly will pay for what he did, which they should have just waited till he was on the street. But of course, nobody's gonna address that because at the end of the day, not everybody wants to clean up their trash. And that's all I'm gonna say on that. But once again, shout out to Strength Cartel for give me the hat. The protein and being hospitable to, you know, up and coming YouTuber and to the homies, y'all saw this. Get at me, you know what I mean. I'll put your music out there, whatever. But understand when you do put it out there, if it ain't hot, people gonna point it out. So you just, you know, do your homework. And on that note, I'm your boy Zod and I'm out. Late.